Hello everyone, it's Elaine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. Today we are going to be creating another Valentine's card in this video. So first of all, I'm taking some lilac cardstock. It's quite heavyweight. It is about 300 GSM. I'm going to be using the Hello Bluebird First Snow stamp set and coordinating dies. I've gone ahead and printed or stamped out these little love border strips from Pretty Pink Posh. These heart speech bubbles from Toasty Friends by Mama Elephant and this heart cruelty background stamp by Simon Says Stamp. And lastly, the MFT watercolour wash dynamics. And I'm going to be treating that to cardstock with my embossing powder bag. Setting that aside and then securing this background stamp with some blue tape to my glass mat. And that is going to help secure my stamp down and prevent it from moving around too much. Next up, I'm bringing in my Versamark ink and really inking up very well that stamp. I'm going to place my cardstock face down and really rub this well all over that stamp. Being very careful not to move cardstock or shift it in any way so we get a really nice impression i am quite thorough when i do this but i do still manage to miss a small patch i think it was probably more that i didn't ink up the stamp as well as i could have done but really carefully lifting that up and you'll see i have that impression there and we're going to cover this with some super fine white embossing powder this particular one is from ranger and it's my favorite and I think I got this on Amazon. If it's available on Amazon, I will link it down below in the description box for you. But I will have everything listed down below. Um, I will provide links to products that I can find. But this is my absolute favourite white embossing powder. And I use it in all my videos and most of my card making. So now I am heat setting all of this embossing powder so that it becomes nice, bright and glossy you'll be able to see that colour change to a much brighter white as it melts. So just going along all those little areas, making sure it's all melted. I'm going to go ahead and use that MFT Dynamic. This is the watercolour wash and cut that out. And off camera, I do also cut that out from a piece of A2 white cardstock. You'll see when I bring that here in a minute. So I'm going to be using my new Distress Ink in Villainous Potion. This is fresh out of the packet. I bought this a while back, but yet haven't got had a chance to use it. So I was really excited to pull this out. So I am tapping off the excess off of my brush onto that piece of cardstock there off to the right and slowly building that colour up. It's going to have a nice gradient effect from top to bottom, so darkest at the top, pulling that colour down, lightening my hand as I go so that I get a really nice soft gradient blend. As I apply more ink to the top, I don't find the need to tap off as much, and I'll just go directly from ink pad to cardstock. Now I did feel like I wanted to darken this up just a little bit, so I'm bringing in Dusty Concord and darkening up that very top portion. Again, just trying to get a nice smooth blend. I've got a microfiber cloth here and I'm just rubbing that very gently all over the surface to bring that nice bright white embossing back. So there we go. There is that A2 piece of white cardstock with that die cut center and that off to the right you can see this is watercolor wash six by six paper pad and I thought that purple matched really well and I did at one point think I would have a border around the edge but you'll see on the card I don't end up doing that in the end so I went ahead and stamped out my images on some Copic friendly cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I used my Sandy Ornock hex chart to help me pick out some Copic markers to use on my images I decided on the combination of V17, V15 and V12. I thought they matched my purple background the best. 
I've got my marker caps off to the side there so you can see what colours I'm using if you want to make a note of them. All of the purple accents are things like scarves and gloves and the hat. There is quite a lot of colouring in this video so if that part of the video doesn't interest you please feel free to skip through. I will have the chapters on this video so that you can skip through to the rest of the card making. I'm going to be adding these little purple hearts to the centre of the speech bubbles. I'm just going to be showing you colouring one of each but I do go ahead and colour these multiple times. For these envelopes, I did just stamp the whole border and then I just fussy cut out the envelopes. I'm using my C markers here just to add a little bit of shading around the envelope and then using my colourless blender to take away some of the grey. I did add a little bit too much and it just helps the greys all blend together as well. Again, using those C markers to add some shade into these speech bubbles. I'm going to come in now and colour all of my little critters. So I'm using E17, E15 and E13 for the main body of the fox. And for his tummy and the end of the tail, I'll just be using some light E30 markers. Just so you know, this video has been sped up five times, so it is sped, sped up quite considerably, but I think the colouring of these images took me about 20 minutes, so not too long. It was quite quick colouring, and these colours that I'm using, I think, really blend quite nicely together. I do get some questions on the paper that I use, so I'll have that linked down below. I do use two different types of paper for my Copic colouring, depending on what I grab first really but both types I use a lot and I really enjoy and think blend really nicely together so do check out the description box if you're interested using my e40s for my bunny here again if you've watched my videos you'll know that I really like this color combination again I think these colors blend really nicely together and don't require too much effort Just concentrating the darkest colour around the edges of the critters and then pulling the colour in with the lighter markers. I'm certainly no expert when it comes to Copic colouring, but I do think the more you practice and the more you get a feel for your markers, the better you'll become. Just adding a little bit of pink for the inside of the ears. Now I'm going to colour the gloves or the mittens. And I'll be adding a little bit of W markers for the tail, focusing most of the colour at the base of the tail using some sort of dotting technique, just to add a little bit of texture. Now coming in for my penguin, I'm using my C markers again in some darker shades. And then I'll be coming back with my W markers for the tummy. Just finishing off the hat here. Just using some flicking motions to add some shading at the top and the bottom of the penguins, tummy and face. A little bit of pink for the cheeks and now coming in with some orange shades for the feet and the beak. I think this little penguin is so cute. So once I've finished up with the colouring, I'm going to go ahead and cut everything out with the coordinating dies. set those images aside for a moment and carry on working with the background. So I flipped over my card panel and that inside piece and I'm just securing these two together with a little bit of blue tape. I've brought back my critters and I'm just going to secure the little envelopes into their hands. Just the tiniest little amount of glue. And then off camera, I went ahead and applied lots of foam tape to the backs of these little images. 
This gives some really nice dimension to the card, helps the little images pop off the page. And for the bunny, I'm going to secure him directly to the card base. I did need to lift up that fox a little bit. I pop some liquid glue on the back of him and securing him to that card base. A little bit of glue did ooze out, so I'm using my scissors here just to carefully scrape away any of that excess adhesive. I've set that aside for a moment to work on the sentiment. I've got some more Copic friendly cardstock here and I've got my V17 and I'm really generous, ugh, generously, excuse me, coating that cardstock with this V17 ink. I wanted a really nice dark sentiment strip to go along the base of the card, but I wanted everything to match nicely. And the good thing about using your alcohol inks to help with this is that it doesn't need time to dry. I did think about using my distress inks to create this sort of dark panel but I was a bit short of time and alcohol obviously dries a lot quicker so that's why I use my Copic markers. I use the Love stamp set by Pretty Pink Posh. It has this happy Valentine's Day sentiment. So I treated my cardstock with the embossing bag. I'm using my Versamark ink to ink up this stamp. And then coming back in with that super fine white embossing powder. I'll be heating that with my heat tool. First off, just scraping away any excess embossing powder. And then I'll be trimming this sentiment down with my guillotine. Just taking off the edges and using that plastic guide to help me line up and get a really nice straight edge. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna pop a little bit more liquid adhesive onto the back. I did accidentally pop a little bit too much on, so I'm just gonna tap off the excess and then slide that under the fox and the penguin's feet, being really careful not to get too much glue where I don't want it and then press down securely and everything matches really nicely. Now I can go ahead and add on these little speech bubbles. Using my tweezers to help me, these are really tiny and fiddly, so a pair of tweezers is always helpful. Some of them were secured down with liquid adhesive. Others, I decided to pop a little bit of foam tape on the back. Again, coming in with the tweezers to help me position them. Just press those down when I'm happy. Last one here. Coming in with my Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen, going to be applying that to all the little purple accents on the car, to all the hearts, the scarves, the mittens, the hats, as a really nice shimmer as it catches the light. Coming in with my white gel pen as well, adding in some little white highlights here and there. And off camera, I think you can see there is a little patch that I didn't manage to ink up. It's just above the bunny. So I did go ahead and use my white gel pen to draw in a little white heart. No one will ever know. So I've gone ahead and put some micropore tape all over the back to help secure those panels together. I've got a side folding A2 card base and I'm using my Misty here to help me adhere that panel to the front of the card just allow that to dry and that is this card complete i really hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making this card it was super fun 
All of the suppliers are listed down in the description box and I look forward to seeing you here again soon. Have a great day everyone. Take care. Bye bye. Get out of this circle. Yeah, we both carry a scar.